<laughs> oh man, that's so fun. I'm crazy. Everybody, long time no see. You know what, guys? I got something exciting here. I'm going to start a, a three part paint series here. I'm going to show you three different methods, and it's all based on patience. People like, uh, just start throwing paint on a canvas and stuff and it gets all mixed up and crap and it turns into mud. Well, that ain't the way I do things. I do things in sequence and these particular three paintings have one thing in common. You have to be patient with them. You have to be, take your patience and time with them. And so the first one that I'm gonna be doing here is a tape abstract, masking tape abstract. And um, it's a masking tape method. And then the second one, we're going to be doing a spill drop method. And I, I, I promise you guys, you've never seen any of these methods before. And you saw them here first. Remember, saw them here first. And then the third one's going to be like a mini paint roller method. Okay, and each one of these, they have to have time to dry in between each state that you're doing them. Okay, so I'm going to put this out. God, it's good to be back. I haven't been here in a while. Okay. So I prepared this black canvas here. Check it out. Got that cameraman. Check it out. Isn't that cool? It's just a black canvas, but I use house paint, guys. I use like a matte black finish because it's more durable and it doesn't peel when you use tape on it. And so uh, not everybody uses house paint. I'm not asking, I'm not saying you have to use it. I'm just saying I do because it lasts like 100 years or so. It's like crazy, crazy uh, tough, durable. And so anyways, this is part, part one. And uh, like I said, I prepared the canvas for it, and then we're gonna start adding tape design. And it's gonna be kind of like this one. Let me show you the little mini one I started. And right now, cameraman, you can see I put tape on this. Kind of zoom in on that a little bit. You can see I put tape on that, and then it's black underneath, and I paint it over the top with white after I put the uh, uh, tape design. And then I'm gonna go also put some more tape back on this, and then paint it gray. So it'll be black, white, and gray. And we might throw some razzle dazzle on this red or something like that. We don't know yet, but anyways, that's what we're gonna do. That will be our first one that we're gonna be doing. And uh, hopefully you guys like this new series. I'm gonna be doing them slowly and uh, I'm gonna kind of cram them all together in one video. And so like I said, number one is gonna be the masking tape uh, abstract method. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a spill drop method, which is a nice mid-century looking type piece, you know, and I'll show you how to neutralize it. I'll explain all that when I'm doing it. And then the other one's gonna be just done with uh, mini paint rollers, okay? And I'll show you how to do that. It's really cool too, because each one that you do has to have uh, time to dry between each state, okay? And same, same with this uh, spill drop method. It has to have time to dry before you go on to the next state. Because if not, you'll turn it into mud. Or you'll over mix the colors and they get dirty and kind of ugly and they don't work right. This way your colors stay vibrant and your composition stay crisp and uh, you'll execute it a lot better and you'll have a better sale if that's what you're doing. Or a better designer piece that you're hanging up and giving away for a gift or something. It'll look really good. Anyways, uh, I thank you uh, for coming and checking out my new art videos. And uh, I'm hoping that I'll be getting this series out real soon. Peace out, Fultz Art. Bam! Let's get this party going. Hey babies, what's up? Welcome to part two. Part two. seen in the first video it was all black canvas now I did the tape job I did the tape job tape job it's all done it's all crazy looking Isn't that wild think like that camera man that cool kind of reminds me of uh Eddie Van Halen's guitar <laughs> anyways part two Take the shades off so I can see let's set my cool shades over here real quick okay so today we're gonna do the tape and some primer gray color. Yeah. I'm gonna kind of blot it off on this paper point here. Oh, 
There we go, just so we don't get all blobby. Here we go, guys. Woo! Is that wild? Let's go right on top of that tape. Nice and solid gray. How everybody doing? You getting ready for Easter? You gonna go hide some eggs and forget where you put them? That's what I do. I hide the eggs and I go, man, Marky, where'd you hide the eggs? I don't remember. So don't get drunk and do Easter eggs and you won't remember where the hell you hit them. <laughs> oh man, look how fast this is, guys. Like I said, I'm doing this in a, a three-part series. This is the second part of this stage and then we'll do the last final little touch-up once it dries, so. Stay tuned for part three of this particular style. Remember, everything's gonna be patient-based. That's right, you gotta have patience because you gotta do these things in segments. You can't do it on one lap because you'll turn it into mud. So you gotta take a little bit of time, a little patience to do this. Get some good coverage going on. Use some nice thick paint. I use a nice industrial house paint, guys, because it lasts for like hundreds of years. This is outdoor paint. Stinks a little bit, but man, is it worth it. And you can use spray paint, and you can use just a regular acrylic paints, too. It just depends on how uh, strong and bold you want it. The longevity is gonna make a difference if you use acrylics that are not quite archival. House paint, I don't really suggest using it unless you got a lot of it, because it is costly. So if you try to save a little money, don't use house paint, use acrylics. Yeah, I don't know, acrylics are starting to cost these days now that we don't have any way of uh, ordering them except we're going online half the time for stuff. Okay, there we have it. Nice uh, medium thick coat over that. A few hairs and some hairs. Roll that roller, make sure there's no big hairs in it anywhere. There we go. You don't want too much uh, leaking underneath that. Let me explain something here, guys. I use froggy tape, froggy tape, green froggy tape. I say frog tape on it. And I use a uh, nice uh, freezer tape by 3M or Scotch. So, and I use regular car automotive pinstriping tape. So those are necessary things. And of course, uh, meat packing uh, masking tape. It's just, it just handles the cold and handles things a little bit better so it sticks really good. Anyways, this right here is the second state. So now it's all gray. So there you have it. And uh, stay ready for part three because that'll be the final part of it. We're gonna add white over this. But before we do, we're going to peel that off and reveal that design. And then we're going to go back over with tape again. And then we're going to hit it with white. And then we're going to give it a little razzle dazzle with a little bit of red drip, okay? And that's how it's going to end on this particular piece. But stay tuned and you're not going to see how cool it ended up, okay? All right, guys. Thanks for coming here and visiting Fultz Art. Peace out, babies. Get with it. Happy Easter. All right. <laughs> Welcome to part three, guys. Part three. Three. Okay, here we go, guys. Welcome aboard. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's start this series out here, the last of this thing here. We're going to finalize this uh, tape abstract piece. You guys see I finalized the tape here. And we're gonna do its white coat on it. Before I get started here, give a special uh, shout out to my 
Gangster brother, Steve Mango, Stevie Mango. Go visit him, guys. He's a cool dude. Makes his own knives and stuff. And uh, Candidly Sharon, she'll tell it how it is. Candidly Sharon H. Go check her site out, guys. Step by step, my brother Mark. He does fish tanks, buy orb. He's a, he's a specialist in fish and fish tanks, and he's just amazing. He's an amazing guy. And of course, my brother Camp G made. Peace, brother. Out in Kelly. Anyways, let's get this show on the road. Show on the road, guys. Woo. I'm pumped up tonight. Okay, so here we go. Good old paint roller going. Let's just use a little bit of that paint that's on the plastic to kind of prime the roller here. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. Let's get white paint all over Marky's black gothic jacket I paid 5,000 bucks for. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. Yes, this is gonna be it, guys. This is the final part of this method and like i said you have to be patient guys that's what this whole session's about it's about being patient between each of these layers is patience if you did this fast it would turn into a big old gray matter mud it would turn into mud so you really have to let this dry in between stages that's what this abstract is about this is about taking your time really covering those edges making sure everything's just perfect you know what i mean yeah look at that it's like flowing like milk and honey babies look at that saw it here first guys everything you see here you've seen here first because marky does everything new most of the time it's new. It's a new technique I just ran into by accident or I just came up with methodically or you know, I did it by happy accident or whatever, but it comes out and then I've been doing a lot of these for many, many years, 20 years plus on some of these methods. And I've been in the paint business over 35 years, guys. I don't even want to say how, how long because that makes me feel super old, but a long time. I'm matured like a fine wine. I'm a wino. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So anyways, uh, here we go. So we're gonna start another series. And what these have in common, again, is patience. Because you can't sit there and uh, put paint on top of paint unless it dries, unless you want mud. So there is rules to abstract sometimes. You know, not to painting, but to abstract methods. And to landscapes are special, there's lots of rules, guys. I won't even get into that, but there's a lot of rules. It took me 13 years to master landscapes. And I'm not talking like uh, Bob Ross style abstracts. I did that for 13 and a half years. And that's before I learned actual real landscaping. And I thought it was pretty good because I was making a lot of money off Bob Ross paintings. And I, I was Bob Ross qualified, met Bob Ross, painted in Bob Ross's studio. I was one of the lucky artists back in the 80s, and uh, I was Bob Ross qualified. Met Steve, his son, and like I said, I've been around guys for a long time. I met Thomas Kincaid a long time ago, back in California. So I'm an old dude. Got my first big break in Las Vegas painting pop art on the street. I won't get into that because that's just a bit of a long story, but yeah, I've been around guys. Been around. And I'm still here making great abstracts, which I love to do. I love and live to paint. Okay, so here we go. Last coat. This is the final part of this. Now, now you went back to normal. It's like a baby. You just went back to where you, you were born, back to, back to the beginning part of it. Okay, so I'm gonna hit it with a hairdryer real quick. Now, I'm not gonna reveal it yet, but I'm just gonna give it a fast. Just to kind of show you what you got to do. Give it a little bit of a blast with your hair dryer. But the main thing is let it dry naturally. You don't want to over dry it too fast. Okay, be patient with us. And we'll be back to reveal this. And this is the final part of it, but I am going to add probably a little razzle dazzle. You know me, I like to get a little bit of red. 
a little blue or blue or silver or whatever and do a little fast drip on that. So we're gonna peel all that tape off guys and we're going to reveal that on the next session here. But uh, until that time, peace out, false art, be good to yourselves, keep creating, bam! Boom! Ha ha ha! Booyah! Back at you guys. Today we're going to do the finish, the finale of this piece. Welcome, welcome. Oh, how you baby doing? Get ready for the Easter Bunny hop, huh? Okay, I took the liberty to take the paint off ahead of time because this is a real tedious process. It takes 25 minutes. I don't want to have to bore you that with the video, but that's kind of what it looks like. And you can just leave it just like this and it's perfectly, perfectly finished. It's done. But, you know me, got to add a little razzle dazzle to it. That's just me. That just me. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good one, babies. Anyway, <laughs> let's get with the program here. So I'm gonna do what I normally do, jet a little bit of red spray paint. And of course, give it that drippy red, racy red look. Yep, that's what you gotta do. Oh, see, that just, that just works every time, guys. I, I always like to uh, add a little accent red, or blue even. You could use any color. You know what I'm gonna do? Oh, look at that. Oh, got your cameraman, sorry about that. Cool as heck, there you go. You know what, I overdid it. Just a little bit, a little accent. It goes a long way. Okay, there's that. Perfect. Enough for red. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have silver. What's that silver? Let me shake up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> How dare ye! Oh, that's so beautiful. It's like a, it's like a jewel, that, you know? Sweet. Let's see, kind of like, now a little bit more over here. Oh, perfect. enjoy that that's part of the first of this session here of the series here of being patient it took a lot of patience to do this you have to wait in between each state and patiently let that dry before you peel each layer of tape off and add a new paint but look at the dynamic you got there wow wow i love it hope you guys love it too now we're gonna get on and finish up that uh um spill and drop method and uh we'll do that real soon here stay tuned